quick tutorial. I will show you how to manipulate rows in, uh, in an InDesign table, uh, much like you could do uh, with um, Microsoft Excel. You can do something very similar with InDesign, how you can move tables, uh, move rows around in tables very easily. And also, I'm going to show you the drag and drop feature uh, that you can use um, in InDesign as well. So let's say, for example, if we look at this table right here, we see we have these titles, 100 general, 300 functions. Then we have this thing here that has uh, REB, and then it has 200 at the back end, and then 400. Well, what we want to do is we want to move this section right here before this section right here. So what we want to do is, in the text tool, when we hover over the left-hand side, we're going to select what we want to move, the rows that we want to move, all right, you'll notice that there is a little grid next to the arrow. Click and drag it until you see that highlight where you want to drop it. And then, boom, you drop it right there. And you have now, this information is in the proper order. We have this 100. Then we have this thing that says 200 at the back end, 300, 400. Now, using the drag and drop feature available in InDesign, you want to make sure that you go to InDesign, drop down to Preference, slide over to Type, and make sure that you tap on Drag and Drop Text Editing, Enable in Layout View. We'll say OK. Now, once you've done that, we're going to double click on 200. And if you notice, it's like a little T next to the arrow. Click and drag it to the front. And now we have 100, 200, 300, and 400. So that's how you can manipulate the rows in, in an InDesign table and use the drag and drop feature for text and text frames.